So let's get the boring stuff out of the way first. Uh, the purpose of this little guy is to protect your fuel injectors. Uh, and in the past, the specification for a filter to protect your fuel injectors has been relatively vague. And uh, thankfully, somebody cleared that up for us. Not surprisingly, these guys right here, imagine that, huh? And they provided a specification for protection of electronic fuel injectors, stated that at uh, 35 microns, the filter had to have an efficiency of 100%, which means simply that uh, no particle larger than 35 microns should ever make it through the filter and to the fuel injector. Uh, and so that's simple enough. That gives us an absolute rating of 35 microns. And so you'd think you could pick up the phone or go online and order a 35 micron filter and everything would be good, but it's not quite that simple. <clears throat> they go on to specify that at 5 microns, the filter needs to have an efficiency of 87%, meaning that it needs to catch at least 87% of every 5 micron particle floating around in your fuel system. And so, uh, <laughs> prior to receiving this specification, uh, we had seen a trend in um, uh, testing injectors that come back, uh, you know, after a season or two of racing, or whatever the case may be. And what we found is that if our injectors were installed in a vehicle that used a stock fuel filter, that the injectors could be out there for a year or two years or three years and come back and look like brand new. And at the opposite end of that range, we found that if the injectors had been installed in a vehicle that uh, used a stainless element to protect the injectors, that they would sometimes just be all over the place. I mean, within the matter of uh, like a couple of race events, uh, just garbage, you know, and uh, we could look inside and see all the crud in there. And of course, the, the customer would rightly say, but gee, I had a fuel filter in the system. Well, it didn't quite, uh, didn't quite get the job done and, and we would have to explain that. Uh, and so <clears throat> we wanted to understand better what was going on, uh, you know, to serve you guys better. And uh, we gathered up a bunch of industry standard fuel filters, just things that were common, uh, filters that we'd used ourselves in the past, sent them off to a company that uh, characterizes fuel filters in much the same way that we would characterize a fuel injector. And so what we found was that out of the, um, I think it was maybe 10 filters that we sent, only one of them matched the specification set forth by Bosch. And at the other end of the range, the two stainless filters that we tested, stainless element filters that we tested, offered literally no filtration at 35 microns. Uh, what I mean by that is every particle, 35 microns, was passing through this filter without getting caught whatsoever. And so when we see a pretty clear correlation between our test results and the actual uh, lab data, it becomes pretty clear what the problem is. And so from there, we, uh, we started to tell our customers, look, do not run our injectors with those filters. Now, of course, the most obvious question, if you're on the other end of the phone, you're on the receiving end of that is, okay, what should I run? And so, that's where this little guy came from. 